Well, hello everyone, I'm here with another LEGO Star Wars 1999 set review for Throwback Thursday. And this one is on the Naboo Fighter and Sith Infiltrator. So let's we'll start out with the booklets, like we would do oftentimes. So, see the LEGO System logos, the uh, Star Wars logo, the Episode 1 variant, a picture of the sets, and the names. So with the blue fighter, that was all that. In the back of which, just the vinyl building stack. So, but Sith Infiltrator one, which gets a little bit more interesting. Where in the back of the like much larger sets manuals, you get this little comic strip, which shows something. But also. The, like numberings in some of the panels coincide with these alternate builds, which there aren't really instructions for them, but give some like dimensions of how they're made and all. Like that panel of which pertains to this alternate build, which is some goggle type thing. And then these other two are to a couple other ships. You can flip to the next panel, getting out the lightsaber, labeled for, and then I'm just showing the lightsaber hilt. And the rest of which is another ship all together. As shown there. And on the back of which, the set in pieces, and then also a couple of more. So a couple other alternate builds, but especially one kind of crazy looking one. The, yeah. And that is about it. The instruction booklet. To the mini things. First of which is Darth Maul. Oh, right here. Yeah, Darth Maul. Same exact one as seen in the uh, lightsaber dual set, also from 1999, and then a couple other sets as well. So, yeah, I'm sorry that the cape's kind of wrinkled up, because of how it's placed in the little speeder bike thing. Take it off and get a better look at the face print of which. Alright, but no back torso print since it's an older figure and whatnot. And then also included with the Nabu fighter set is a whips. Uh, young Anakin Skywalker. Let me get the goggles back on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, upside down. So, there we go. Like, as you can see there. There's. So, this is which is kind of the same variant as shown in, like, uh, uh, Anakin's Pod Racer and a couple other 99 sets. And probably a couple other later sets as well. But if you look from the back, no back printing or back head printing, which as common of older main figs. Come on, focus. Yes, there we go. Just about what I was just talking about in here. The next up for the mini figs of which is the very first R2D2 mini fig. Like the head print of which is in white with a very little bit of silver until in later versions ended up using all silver heads. And this was also showing a couple other 99 sets, like when we get to the X-Wing set, also included there. And the other two of which quite the same are the Battle Droids, of which, same as they've always been, like with the old style blasters, which are, you know, megaphones with things on them. So all the pieces of which, same as they've been, for all of playing a Star Wars though, until they got in the straight arms with some, but good for army building and everything in there. 
and then first of all, the first set of which is, or also included with the Nabu Fighter, is this little uh, cart thing, large tan stove there, and then large, once you open it up, there's like some printed pieces also seen in the droid fire set as well. And uh, quite simple with little wheelies and what kind. Yeah. And then next up is the Nabu fighter itself, which is quite a bit more blocky and chunky than the later versions. But it's what you expect from these older sets. Like the engines of which also seen in the X-Wing set, but except that, but also like the other versions. And for the main blasters of which, they look like they shoot something out of it, but they don't really do that. And underneath is a, what's kind of simple to stand, but also another shooter there, but also doesn't shoot anything. They're just for show. Also, if you're someone who likes symmetry in sets, this one actually has pretty much about some symmetry, except for this one piece on one side, but not on the other side. And I'm, I was also present on the later versions, and yeah. but also enough space to fit your R2D2 figure, like so. And then about how these two of which are the normal stand things and the others a uh, regular antenna piece. And like to get a pig in, you just remove the cockpit rather than moving it since it's not connected or anything. There's some nice printed pieces on there and also a printed control panel as well. And enough space to fit your Anakin mini thing in. Make an open halfway for that scene when he is like standing up in the coffin there until it closes up. And now to a, a brief comparison of it in the recent 2015 Navi fighter. Like as you see, shapings done about the same, but also less gray on the older ones as compared to the other one. But also the this one a bit more smooth and all compared to being more blocky. And of course R2D2 you have to place in sideways rather than like regular other ways. But also with the more curved slopes rather than jacket slopes. And of course has the flip fire missiles and also stand that's separate rather than being attached to it. So at least an alright difference between the two. And well, that is probably about it with the Nabu fighter. And now into the Sith Infiltrator. So it was kind of a bit more blocky than you'd expect from the later versions. Like, like light gray, dark gray, and some accents of blue and black. But like, what? I wonder why they include some blue on here. If you know why, tell in the comments. But like one part opens up and it is these two compartments. One for Darth Maul's double end lightsaber and also one for the pro droids, which are just very simple builds, just black minifig head with a lever on it. But at least they got better in the later versions. And also some stand pieces, which are also seen in some of the other 99 sets. And the shaping of which done pretty well. Like some good use of for the, some good snot techniques used for the like wing parts. So probably the start of snot, you can say. And then if in the back you see the large printed uh, piece, you can like fold it out, and then just like the other versions, have the little spear bite thing. And if I are to compare to the one that comes with the lightsaber dual set, same build. So this is a common trend they used to do a lot, where it's include the same build in two different sets with no changes whatsoever. And kind of a laziness factor. But at least if you 
unless if you have the lightsaber dual set with this, then you also get the uh, moisture evaporator or whatever. And you can obviously fit Darth Maul on to there. And fit it on like so. And then you can fit it in as well. So, what else is there to say? Not much, but now into a little comparison with the most recent 2015 Sith Infiltrator. As you can see, the shaping done quite similarly. But also, it's a lot shorter. Like, this was originally 30, and this one was originally 90. Well, as other versions of which were priced a little similarly. But yeah. Also, some good, same exact shaping as that one. And also printed a uh, jagged slope piece. Kind of interesting, but yeah. It also also does open similarly, really showing the speeder bike and the probe droids, but which are a much better design as compared to the ones in that one. And the landing gear are done a little differently. And also, that one of which uh, spring little launchers, the other one, not at all any launchers. But if go these out. And actually, this one actually kind of confused it with the speeder bike set, like one. Since it's already up front, but yeah. And so, what else? Not much else to say, but. We might as well go on to the final verdict. So, get the booklets out in the yeah. So, final verdict on these two sets. I think these are which are pretty good sets from 99. Like, Synth Infiltrator, less blocky than the later versions. Same with the Nambu Fighter. And uh, but also did get that some thoughts for alternate builds in the booklet and yeah and hope you all had some good times with these back in the day and yeah and that's about it with this review of Throwback Thursday please like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching.